Hey there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here with Just Saying Tarot, and this is your reading for next 48 hours. Asking your spirit guides and your angels to join us as we get messages for your greatest good. Using the Moon Oracle. Recharge. We got this one last night. <laughs> recharge. Time to recharge. Black Moon. Oh, and there just was. Okay, this is a good message for you. So recharge, eight, wedding and stone. Wow, did somebody get you a stone? All right, let's think. Let's go to the book because there may be some other meanings behind these than what is just obvious. So, black moon in fire, the eight, dormant to recharge. It says if you don't have a creative project at this time, you may feel downhearted. So this is about doing something really creative that um, your soul is kind of pushing you to do. Um, it says you may need to withdraw into yourself. Um, this, uh, card is, it's the, all things concerned with action, movement, and energy, but like it's the planning, like, like what's going to happen. So it's, it's the downtime before you do the downtime before you do. And then I have the mansion number four. Stone from Taurus to Taurus. This card means sticking to the familiar. It suggests you may have a stubborn, protective attitude of what you see as personal property, which may be a family business or simply strong family traditions. Your attitude towards this matter is inflexible and old fashioned. The way in which things have always been done is the only way. Now, it doesn't say that you have this attitude necessarily. It could be somebody around you that's like, no, you must get married in order. You know what I mean? So let me read this. Number 22, wedding. Confirming behavior and keeping up appearances. <laughs> Sticking to the familiar, pretending like everything's all right. <sighs> this is marriage in the sense of convenience. <laughs> Or as a metaphor for doing the socially accepted thing, guys. It says if this card is drawn, you will probably end up making the conventional choice. But you know what? You don't have to. Because this card is mentioning keeping up appearances. Things are not always what they seem. Um, definitely. Alright, let us me, let me get this deck. Let's use mystical medleys. I'm feeling like that wants to come out. And we'll clarify these for you, Aquarius. <laughs> Something in a traditional sense, in a traditional way. Well, definitely wanting you to take time, though, to think about something before you do it. Okay, so what's the recharge about? Black moon and fire. What's this about? The eight of cups in reverse. Somebody coming back. Eight, eight also. Something practical about finances here too. And there may be financial gain. All right, the 10 of wands in the reverse. Something to, um, I feel like this is a list of pros and cons. And on the pros, it's like, I'll have to do less work. Um, somebody else can help me carry a load here. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'm going to... I'm sorry if you're getting vertigo here. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> so somebody could be coming back. Somebody, you could be like, okay, and if this person does help me or if I do do this, it's probably what's expected out of me, yeah. But might have this positive, this positive, and this. You know what I mean? And so one of them would be that you don't have to do all the work yourself, right? What else about this uh, recharge? And with the eight eights, guys, this is really, you have a lot of um, 
you have a lot of money coming in. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Think about what you really want, though, because there's a feeling with the Seven of Wands in reverse that you may be pushing something that you're really not, like, that you're not digging, that you might not really want. What is this stone? What is four stone? I feel like it's about practicality. You know what I mean? Aw. Uh, dang. Three of swords energy. With this four of stone. Then there's the ten of cups. Let's get more. Let's get more. Clarify the three of swords. The Knight of Pentacles. It's kind of breaking your heart, I think. Because I think somebody is more the practical choice. <laughs> Though it may feel kind of like boring. The practical but boring choice. I don't know. I mean, and, and there's something that's like, oh, it's, it's practical and it makes sense. And money is pretty good. Something leads to everybody being happy and content because you have the Ten of Cups. I mean, it's like the ultimate achievement in happiness. Um, give us something on this wedding. What is this about? Keeping up appearances. Keeping up with the Joneses. Okay, so still helping others possibly and getting back to uh, Six of Pentacles what goes around comes around keeping up appearances trying to make it look like uh maybe possibly making it look like everything's reciprocal but that might not be the case i don't know why i'm getting that let's go to the osho zen tarot and um, clarify these who's coming back with the eight of cups who's coming back or this could be a big need for a vacation. Truly could be a big need for a vacation. Okay, so we're coming out. Um, the Nine of Swords could be a Gemini energy, but we're definitely coming out of a time where we felt like our hands were tied and there was nothing we could do. This is coming out of a very big pain, sorrowful situation. Probably that Three of Swords. It's somebody that caused a lot of pain, I feel like is coming back. And there may be something about the practical choice here, though. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> there you go. There's your Six of Wands. This is success. This would be a victory. Um, something here would make you feel like you were on top of the world. So a victory recognition, praise, merit, good job. What's the seven of wands in reverse? That makes me feel like something someone's not even tried. Change. Wow, okay, these two, both of these characters look like they're trying to balance, don't they? They look like they're both like, oh gosh, so watch out. Things could be a little unsteady right now. Be on your guard. Live moment to moment with the... Uh, Two of Pentacles, there might be some change. There may be a lot of stuff going on at one time, too, for you that, that you're doing. Clarify the Three of Swords. King of Wands. The Creator. The Creation. Maybe it had some heartache in it, too. And maybe there was a third-party situation. Maybe there was a Leo energy or a Libra energy present here. It feels like making something work despite, like, the challenges. What's the Knight of Pentacles coming in as? Could be Virgo energy. Okay, now we have number four. Another four, which is the Emperor energy, like you being in control and making a wise move. Okay, because it feels like either somebody, either somebody gave you some advice that you didn't, didn't like regarding business or somebody feels like they let you down regarding needing to be the practical person that kept, um, you know, the money, the finances good and the whole family happy type of deal. So that's in reverse. Sometimes I, it refers to the Taurus 
or the person who um, kind of feels like they let you down on a commitment or broke a commitment possibly. So this is definitely you taking back control or you have Aries energy here. Aries energy too could be for that um, pentacle too. What's the Ten of Cups? The Nine of Cups. Wow. <laughs> Don't be lazy, but you know what? You'll have the ability to be because this Nine of Cups is somebody that has everything that they want at their fingertips. They've got it all. And it's like wish granted. You have everything that you could want. There you go. Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Wish granted and everybody else's wishes too are... Um, happy everybody else is happy too so six of pentacles last one it is about the tower in reverse it is about building stability the fours the number four aries um yeah this foundation rebuilding and making something fair this time something being fair this time while you're rebuilding it and that's what i've got for you guys um let me go ahead and pull some angel number messages for you. I'm going to wrap up your reading. Thanks for joining me, Aquarius. Hope you got something out of your reading. You got 28. I'm a leader. In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working well with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together towards achievement, you know, towards some kind of major achievement. There's the six. I am a leader. Six of Wands. I am a leader, for sure. Okay, and the spellcasting orc. Well, why don't we just pull one? It's right here. Why not? I'll probably pull a different one for your oracle today, just because. Psychic abilities and tap into your talent, because it's unrecognized talent when it was in the reverse. Unrecognized talent may have to do with psychic ability, too. So, sending you love and light, Aquarius. Bye-bye.